Abnormal uterine bleeding is one of the most common reasons that women go to the doctor. It can occur at any age and it has lots of causes. Some are pretty easily treated while others are more serious. Dr. Frank Sirisano of Boca Raton Regional Hospital joins us this noon to tell us a little bit more. Good afternoon. Thank you, Lauren. Glad to have you with us this afternoon. Let's start with the basics. What is uterine bleeding and who's most susceptible? Sure. Uterine bleeding is or abnormal uterine bleeding is bleeding beyond the normal five to seven days of a normal menstrual cycle and it can be associated with debilitating pain and caused generally by the development of tumors in the uterine wall or in the uterine lining. Okay, and what are, what are the symptoms? Is there any sort of pain involved or, or how might you know other than the bleeding? I mean, how might you know you have it? Generally, uh, the pain is severe and debilitating and often requires missed days from work. Mm. That's okay. a general telltale sign. All right, and what usually typically causes this, would you say? Tumors that develop in the, in the organ of the uterus can be benign, such as polyps in the uterine cavity or fibroids in the uterine wall. Additionally, in a small percentage of patients, these type of tumors may be malignancies. Okay, so a woman goes to the doctor, she, she explains the situation. What is sort of the typical uh, treatment protocol? The most important early diagnosis measure is to evaluate whether or not there's a malignancy present, often with imaging or a biopsy. In the absence of a malignancy, the lining of the uterus can now be treated okay. with thermal energy uh, using this device here, which is a ThermaChoice balloon. Okay. Let's Tre try to get a close-up sure, of that close if we up. could. Okay. And is Tre this the balloon here that's right the on balloon. the end? That's the balloon. That's introduced okay. to, the, to the cavity of the uterus. And Hold that up for you. The application of heat to the lining of the uterus actually has been demonstrated to reduce the amount of bleeding and the amount of pain wow. with cycles. Okay, and so would this, considered, would this be considered an alternative to sur surgery or part of the surgery? It is an alternative to surgery and probably the most effective non-surgical alternative. Okay, talk but, to me about recovery. Recovery is usually within 72 hours. Mm -hmm. Most patients can be uh, treated with this procedure in the office. The wow. total procedure time is about eight minutes. No kidding. The symptoms of, of uh, discomfort and cramping usually resolve after 72 hours and oftentimes patients can return to work the same week. No kidding and that's much better than it used to be. Well the surgical option obviously comes with the recovery mm -hmm. of an incision or you know more recently we now have the robotic laparoscopy option which is probably the most remarkable surgical advancement. Okay, amazing. It's uh, amazing what technology can do to speed up all of this for so many women. Thank you so much for your time today. And Boca Raton Regional Hospital does sponsor our expert and underwrites our Ask the Doctor feature.